make jackals as a second wave, sandwich them in between the two groups. The jackals are even more effective because they have the drop on them, so they can get the first shots and eliminate a couple units even before shots are returned. They're focusing fire on the jackals now and taking a few losses. I beam the prophet because they they make the prophet retreat usually after it loses its shield. My group of jackals are about down, but they're running away. All the units are hurt. So at this point, I unlock my base and chase them off. I tell all units, including my ghost, to attack because I'm afraid I'll lose the prophet. I won't do anything to keep his shields down, so I traded my ghost for it. It turned out unnecessary, but I decided that it was okay. Prophet's dead. It's a very good time to retaliate and attack right back at them. The units are moving towards that base. Good indication that it's being built right now. They're still moving down. I find that they have a base. I'll have the Prophet attack the building. He does the only considerable building damage. The rest of the Jackals will take care of the units down here. Gotta make sure I keep making Jackals. Upgrade my Prophet's attack more because he's the only one attacking the building and I want that dead as fast as possible. All units. Local units. I wanted to make sure there were no crates there. Maybe I could get some. Ancestral perversion. Research. All units. It just upgraded, so I wasted more of the resources by destroying that base. I got the crates in that area. I wanted to upgrade to the Age of Doubt, so I canceled out a few jackals. I was gonna get their Supreme Gauntlet to further increase their abilities. I clearly have a very large advantage. They're still making infantry. Age of Doubt is researched. I decide to build the base instead of upgrading the Jackals. Honestly, in hindsight, there was no real solid reason to do that. All units. I'll go. I already had a strong advantage and could have just All upgraded units. the units I had. All units. They just upgraded their base so you could tell that they put their resources to the, all those units I countered. I decide I could go with a factory for that base, but I'll wait and upgrade the Supreme Gauntlet first. Local units. I have the Jackals freely shoot whatever, so I don't have to tell them to shoot any units that come out, because they'll prioritize and shoot them first. The Prophet will kill any buildings they're creating. Now I'll create my factory. I could have created it sooner, but at this point it doesn't matter. And I also make honor guards just to bolster my numbers and make as many units as possible to keep them held down if they come back in any way. I am here. All units. Units. Factory complete. 
Supreme Gauntlet Research. All right, they have their final upgrade. On all units. Even more unstoppable now. All units. Local units. Decide to attack the temple. I don't want the prophet coming out again. I'll start making wraiths and more honor guards. Local units. Yes, it's done. Warehouse complete. All units. Local units. Fleet here. Local units. Fleet prepare to fight. My pleasure. The journey awaits. At this point, and a couple minutes before now, the fight's already been won. Just finishing off the base. All units. All units. Form a cover. Yes, it's done. The rates and honor guards add decent building damage. Because even the 18 jackals don't do as much as the one prophet. All units. Local units. I'll just continue to upgrade my economy. Just to not slack off. Local units. And you can tell their base is destroyed. Warehouse upgrade. Units. You are victorious. And I have almost all of my jackals have one star veterancy. Oddly enough, the prophet does not. Because it's statistics. Economy-wise, there's the biggest lesson to learn here. I collected far more crates than the enemy. Early game, those make a huge difference. Even though he made more resources than I did somehow, I still won because mine were put to countering his use of resources. Once again, thank you and hopefully I'll see you around.